This is kind of the setup that we'll have on Tuesday, uh, except we'll be using more than just one light. Uh, this is going to be uh, one of the lights that we will use. Uh, it's going to be our continuous incandescent light. Uh, again, we cannot control its power. The only way to control how bright or how dark this light is, there's actually a couple of ways. Uh, one of the one of the ways is to move it further back. Uh, another way is to go in and control it through um, the settings of your camera. These may not be the settings that we actually shoot with, but we will be shooting in manual. Uh, we will be controlling our aperture. Obviously, I will not be shooting at 1250 ISO, but we'll go in and make some changes uh, to this. But this is going to be our product that we'll be working with. Uh, we will have a, a light on the background. We'll have a light uh, on our actual product itself. We'll look at the difference between the different types of light. We'll talk about a couple of things like key lights and fill lights and background light. We'll also get into uh, how we can take this continuous light and how we can um, do different things like bouncing it back. We'll use cards and we'll use flags uh, to block it. We'll be using a lot of these clips. But what I'm going to do real quick is just show you the difference uh, and how moving the light around a little bit, how it can really change the way that your, um, that your shots look. I have changed a couple of the settings on my camera. Uh, we will have to play with these a little bit, but this is what I've got. Uh, I've got ISO of 100, F4, and a 50th of a second shooting in manual. Again, we just have one light, and this will be our setup. Now, based on uh, the light that we have, I'm just gonna take this first picture. This is the key light. Key light is also referred to as your main light. So based on where this light is, and how close it is to your subject, this being our camera, the camera that we're shooting, not the camera that we're shooting with. This would be our next shot. Same settings on the camera. You'll see that the light has changed. Now, both of these shots are too dark. I can increase the power of this light. The only way that I can control the power or how bright this light is on my subject is to either open up my aperture, change my ISO, which would also decrease the quality of my image. It would introduce uh, more noise into my image. Or I could do the last thing, which is the thing that I would definitely want to do, and that's going to be to slow my shutter down. Now, the cool thing about product photography uh, is that unless I move my product, my product is not going to move. So I can shoot at much slower shutter speeds. So I'm going to take my shutter and I'm going to decrease my shutter from a 50th of a second down to a 25th of a second. And I'm going to take this picture. You'll see that the light definitely looks different. It's a little bit brighter. This is still just one light. And then I'm going to slow it down a little bit more. I'm going to say to one tenth of a second. Let's take a look at that. That looks much better. So it's much brighter. Now there's still a lot of stuff that we could do with that. We'll be bringing in some different flags and stuff like that, but we'll take a look at that in the next video.